So one of the original items that we sell at Scamrang, and we sell a lot of at this time of year, are these uh, buckets. Really humble uh, utensils going back hundreds and hundreds of years. These pails that we have here are probably uh, anything between 30, 40, even 50 years old. Um, and they're characterized by the kind of faded gray color that they have. Metal buckets and pails are not used so much nowadays, um, but these would have been um, in every household. Every, everyone would have had one of these at home for washing and cleaning and just carrying water around. Um, what makes them amazing is the fact that they're, they, they look old and they've got so much character to them and they re really are original. Um, and um, each one will vary from piece to piece. Uh, you'll see I've got, I've got a, a small uh, uh, steel iron one here that's aged quite well. It's really quite dark. And then I've got this one here, if I just put that back. Uh, this one here has got a kind of yellow look to it and inside it's got a, a, a pink look, probably used as a, as a paint bucket more latterly. Um, uh, buckets are always galvanized, so they have a, a layer or a coating of zinc and that stops them from corroding. And the very old buckets will have rivets uh, down the edge. You can just see down the seam there. Um, and they'll be generally really, really heavy because they would have been made from a, a heavy gauge uh, iron or steel and then riveted together. And then a bottom popped on uh, there. Uh, so just show you some of the other ones that we have here, just to show you how much they do vary. Uh, that's uh, quite an unusual one with a spout on it um, and it's more kind of cylindrical rather than conical. Uh, what else have we got? Um, this one here has got a nice kind of faded green paint finish to it there. You can just see some of the faded uh, paint and inside again I think it's been used as a paint bucket. Lots of old paint and you can see the rim at the bottom there to keep the base of the bucket uh, away from water. Um, so yeah, humble bucket, perfect as planters. Um, you could have a, a variety of these outside. You could use them inside as well, and that gives your house a real kind of um, a rustic look to it if you're using these indoors. Um, outdoors, they're perfectly fine. They'll just age a little. Uh, they're not going to rust. Um, and they could be used for bushes, bay trees, plants, uh, trailing plants could flow down there. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of uses for the buckets. Um, one of the original items, but you can see all our buckets up here all the way along. We've got dozens and dozens of buckets. They come in all shapes and sizes. If you were looking at using these as planters, you could have a selection of maybe three or four of them, different heights, different colors, different finishes. Um, uh, yeah, just adding real original character to any space that you might have at home.